In Madhav's neighborhood, every evening as darkness fell, old watchman Kaka would go turn on the street lights. He has to walk around every day to switch on all the lights. He's old now and can't even get around. The neighbors should get automatic lights. Hearing Kaka's words, Madhav felt bad, and that's when an idea popped into his mind. Why not make the street light circuit so that it automatically flips based on the time, turning on at 6 p.m. every evening without requiring any manual intervention or activation, shutting off by itself at 6 a.m. After physics class, he told Amar sir the whole plan. The idea is sound but all year. It's not dark and light at the same time all year. A better option is to use semiconductors in the circuit. But what are they? Semiconductors are materials that adjust their conductivity based on their surrounding environment, meaning they sometimes behave as insulators and sometimes as conductors. Semiconductors such as silicon act as insulators at room temperature but behave like conductors when the temperature increases. For electric current to flow, a material must have loosely bound electrons. When we observe a single atom, its electrons occupy fixed orbitals. The energy levels of these orbitals can be depicted as distinct lines like these. For an electron to become free, it needs to jump from a lower energy level to a higher one. But when many individual atoms come together in a crystalline material, their atomic orbitals end up in very close proximity to one another, thereby causing each atom's electronic energy levels to shift slightly and correspondingly. As countless atoms aggregate densely within a crystalline lattice, their originally discrete energy levels spread sufficiently far apart, merging into continuous conduction and valence bands. In an insulator, the energy gap between these bands is large. So even when a voltage is applied, electrons cannot cross it. In a conductor, there is essentially no band gap. Therefore, electrons don't need to jump to a higher level. They're free to move. In a semiconductor, however, this band gap is neither too large nor too small. So heating of semiconductors like silicon reliably gives electrons the extra energy they need to reach the conduction band. They then move to the higher energy level, thereby allowing the electrical current to flow. But what role does this play in a street light? In some semiconductor materials like cadmium sulfide, the band gap is very small. With just a bit of light, electrons absorb enough energy to cross it. These are used to make photoresistors whose resistance falls under illumination. Current flows in light and in darkness the resistance rises so no current flows but we want the light on at night not during the day. For this, a MOSFET, a transistor made of semiconductor is used. When the photoresistor is illuminated, i.e. conducts current, the MOSFET turns the bulb circuit off and in the dark, the transistor switches the bulb circuit on. We'll explain how the transistor works in another video when we cover PN junctions. Madhav took the photo and he took a MOSFET and together with Kaka made the solar lights automatic. Every neighborhood should have talented kids like you. Hey Kaka, physics wala students are in every neighborhood.